Subject Enrichment Test 3 Topic Natural Vegetation and Wildlife Subject Social Science Index Acknowledgement I would like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to my social science teacher who gave me the golden opportunity to do this wonderful project on the topic natural vegetation and wildlife which helped me learn a lot in the research and course of completion of this project. I would also like to thank my parents for guiding me and helping me complete this project within the given time frame. Introduction Natural vegetation and wildlife are the important compartments in our planet's geography. Our country is one of the 12 mega biodiversity countries in, of the world with about 47,000 plant species. India occupies 10th place in the world and 4th in plant diversity where there are 15,000 flowering plants in India which holds about 67% of the world's total number of flowering plants. India has approximately 90,000 species of animals as well as a rich variety of fish in its fresh and marine waters. Virgin Vegetation Natural vegetation refers to a plant community which has grown naturally without human aid and has been left undisturbed for a long time. This is termed as virgin vegetation. Natural vegetation Vegetation is the assemblance of plant species and the ground cover they provide. It is a general term without specific reference to particular area, life forms, structure or any other specific botanical or geographic characteristics. It is broader than the term flora which refers to a species composition. Natural vegetation refers to a plant community which has grown naturally without human aid. They have been left undisturbed by humans for a long time. We can call this as virgin vegetation. The, ve the virgin vegetation which are purely Indian are also known as endemic and indigenous species but those which have come from outside are called exotic species. Natural vegetation can be of five types tropical evergreen forest, tropical deciduous forest, tropical thorn forest and shrubs, mountain forests and mangrove forest. Types of Vegetation Tropical Evergreen Forest These forests are restricted to heavy rainfall areas of the Western Ghats and the island groups of Lakshadweep, Andaman and Nicobar, Upper parts of Assam and Tamil Nadu coast. The trees reach great heights up to 60 meters or even above. Some of the commercially important trees of this forest are ebony, mahogany, rosewood, rubber, and cinchona. Tropical deciduous forest. These are the most widespread forests of India. They are also called monsoon forest. Trees of this forest type shed their leaves for about six to eight weeks in dry summer. These forests exists mostly in the eastern part of the country. Teak, bamboo, sal, shisham, sandalwood, khair, kusum, arjun and mulberry are the other important species.
thorn forest and shrubs this type of vegetation is found in the northwestern part of the country acacia palms euphorbias and cacti are the main plant species trees are scattered have long roots penetrate deep into the soil to get moisture mountain forest in mountain areas the decrease in temperature with increasing altitude leads the corresponding change in natural vegetation they are found mostly in the southern slope of himalayas coniferous trees like pine deodar silver fir spruce and cedar are found in mountain forest mangrove forest the mangrove tidal forest are the forest found in the area of coast influenced by tides dense mangroves are the common varieties with roots of plants submerged under water palm coconut kiara agar etc also grow in some parts of the delta map on natural vegetation of india legend tropical evergreen tropical deciduous mountain forest mangrove and top tropical thorn wildlife like its flora india is also rich in its fauna it has approximately 90000 animal species the country has about 2000 species of birds they constitute 13% of the world's total there are 2516 species of fish which account for nearly 12% of the world's stock it shares between 5 and 8% of the world's amphibians reptiles and mammals the elephants are the most majestic animals among the mammals they are found in the hot wet forest of assam karnataka and kerala one horned rhinoceros are the other animals which live in the swampy and marshy lands of assam and west bengal arid areas of run of kutch and the thar desert are the habitat for wild ass and camels respectively indian bison nilgai chausinga gazelle and different species of deer are some other animals found in india it also has several species of monkeys india is the only country in the world that has both tigers and lions the natural habitat of the indian lion is the gir forest in gujarat tigers are found in the forests of madhya pradesh the sundarbans of west bengal and the himalayan region leopards too are the members of the cat family they are important among animals of prey the himalayas harbor a hardy range of animals which survive in extreme cold ladakh's freezing high altitudes are a home to yak tibetan antelope the bharal wild sheep and the kiang furthermore the ibex bear snow leopard and red red panda are found in certain pockets in the rivers lakes and coastal areas turtles crocodiles and gharials are found bird life in india is colorful peacocks pheasants ducks parakeets cranes and pigeons are some of the birds inhabiting in the forest and wetlands of the country map on the wildlife reserves of india legend the red dot represents wildlife sanctuary the green dot 
represents the bird sanctuary and the purple triangle represents the national parks. Conclusion Each species has a pivotal role to play in the ecosystem. So, protection of ecosystem is essential. Due to the destruction and imbalanced ecosystem, the greedy predators who hunt wild animals for commercial purposes are the main reason for this danger of nature. Reckless cut of forest trees to bring land under fields and residences. The government of India is taking several steps to protect the flora and fauna of the country. They are Wildlife Protection Act was accomplished in 1972 in India. 14 biosphere reserves have been set up to save flora and fauna. Project Tiger, Project Rhino and numerous schemes were set up to save wildlife. Overall, 89 national gardens, 490 wildlife reserves and zoological parks were set up to save flora and fauna. Bibliography www.wikipedia.com www.byjuice.com www.brainly.com www.youtube.com www.vedantu.com https slash education.nationalgeographic.org https slash testbook.com